Hello, this is JW Solar USA. Um, I just want to do a system review today. Um, one of my friend, um, well, this is a retired vet now. Um, he was in the he was in the army. His name is Mickey, and uh, this is his system. He got a SunTech, uh, and this is. Um, a string tied inverter right here this system was installed um, three and a half years ago and uh, this is what he's bringing right now and uh, you can read it for yourself it's kind of tight spot where he's putting his power back to the grid and it doesn't use any batteries or anything this is what the system is doing currently at uh, this weather. This is the weather right now. It's kind of cloudy here in uh, Minnesota, Red Wing. Red Wing, Minnesota. Look at the sun. And they just mounted them here. And um, I will show you guys. Well, this is what the system is doing right now. It's bringing a two. I think today I already make a 2.5 kilowatt. So it's really hard for me. He had it in a really tight spot. But if you can't read, um, it's going to tell you everything. I think currently it's bringing about 397. Um, okay. Yeah, AC. See that? I'm gonna be giving you the specs here. You got uh, six panels, 290 watt. Um, uh, these are the specs for his solar modules. It's a lightweight and uh, it's 290 watt. The optimum operation voltage is 35.5 volt. Optimum operation voltage current sorry is 8.17 amps max series fuse was with 15 and the application is a class open circuit is 43.8 volts and uh, short circuit is a 8.9 very close to 9 amps this system so you got all the system tied up into a series everything is just series you don't see his problem at all because of his uh, controller, his string box. I think it has a limitation, but I'm gonna give you the specs for that. This is how the system is mounted, and uh, the solar panels three in the front, and uh, the disconnect. You got them all series connection. You want them for high voltage and uh, high wattages. These are the panels right here. Just sit on his deck. And they got a security camera system. These are the panels here. Like I said, he got mounted. He got a, um, the original mounting kit for that. And uh, he bought the system from Texas. System came from Texas. So this is all he's doing to power his house and reduce his bill. As uh, time goes, he's doing pretty good. So here are the specs. It's a Sun Team. And uh, the system can take up to about 450 VOC. And the range of input operation voltage is 110 to 430. And the maximum input current um, is a nine nine amps DC, and the maximum short circuit current is a twenty four. So this system can't be uh, parallel at all, according to its application. You can't parallel series parallel. No, the controller can't let you do that because of the the maximum input current that allows it's only nine volts which the, which are the panels are eight 
which the pianos are 8.17 amps and the open socket um the uh and the short circuit is 8.95 so he doesn't have enough enough room like in winter time he's supposed to be producing more power and uh, this box is gonna be kind of a little bit overloaded you know and these are the specs so operation voltage range volt AC is uh, 183 to 200 and 28 volt AC so these are all the specs and operation frequency is 59.3 uh, to 60 Hertz so it's another video I'm trying to do and uh, with all my uh, retired veteran friends here live from Minnesota Red Wing and uh, these are all some of the cool systems that uh, um, my friends are designing and they already put up. A quick glance of the uh, the panels. I think these panels are made in China, I suppose. Not too sure. It's kind of strange name. But these are the specs right here. And you can go through yeah, the string uh, uh, specification. You can make uh, your judgment. So from that, I put comes all the way to a little conduit this is where he plugged it and all the way to the house this is how he does it and he did all this um, installation by himself so it just happened he wanted me to do a review on that and uh, show you guys so I'm just sharing this. I didn't do this installation. It did. And I hope you can see. It's way too tight. I can't. It warned me. Say, well, it's going to be hard for you to video this, but you know, you can go for it if you want to. All right. Suppose you can see all the numbers. If I have the camera really focused. So take a look for yourself. Yeah, I'm straining right now, but uh, you can see for yourself how the numbers are changing. I can't even see. All right, okay. Yeah, I suppose he had a uni rack or whatever frames and mounting mount mounting he had for this system. So this is the system right here the three panels at the front and the other three on the back so and that's the uh, string box right there the grid system so it goes disconnect right there so well, I suppose these are poly, polycrystalline, crystalline soil panels you have here. Okay, there's a disconnect box. I'm giving you a glance of the system overview. So I'm just doing a review for him. You know, at least you guys can be able to see that. You know, it doesn't mean you have to have a lot of money to build systems like this. You know, all you got to do is just uh, keep your head straight, focus, and, uh, and try to do the best you can. You know, even few panels can do it. He doesn't even care at all. You know, he just want to reduce his bill so right there 290 watt solar modules lightweight they are called never heard about I never heard about them before so so these are the panels so 290 watt times 6 I think I suppose it's a 1.7 kilowatt he had right here 
if you like please subscribe thumbs up to this system and uh, support our troops our retired troops and uh, what are you doing and these are the hobbies uh, some of them already picked up and uh, it's fun it's cool please they missed their uh, uh, previous job you know being the service really cool you know come back and just sit down do nothing and uh, life is hard but uh, if you pick up a um, picked up a new uh, hobby we can afford is good so this is what he's doing and he's really good he's doing pretty good he's working he still works well no more in the service but um this is what he, he did for reducing his electricity so it's almost uh already made another over 10 minutes video again so i'll give one more time a glance on the uh on this uh converter right there this is the sun team Teams, T E A M S, Sun Teams. Uh, never heard of this brand before, but uh, sold in United States. He got it from uh, Texas. That's what he told me. So I have to keep in touch with the boys, and you know, this is what I do, and this is what you want to do. And I suppose you guys can see the system performance right there all the years. He doesn't care how much the system has produced. He doesn't care how much uh, power is making. All he wanted is power to reduce his electric bills because he's a big time gamer. And uh, him and his brother had uh, a kid. You know, they play games online and uh, they build about... Um, tons of computers he's a computer guy you know his brother is in the computers and uh, he is like uh, the IT guy he knows all the programming all that kind of stuff you know they invite friends coming over they can play against each other so they burn a lot of electricity just those computers I think I suppose about eight or six or eight computers so this is the reason why he put in the system so at least he can keep himself uh, in shape instead of burning electricity, paying all these uh, energy company. So he don't want to do that. So I can't stop him from his gaming stuff and uh, electric company can't stop him. So he decided to put in the system so that he can power up all his appliances and uh, he pays less electricity if he have to. If the system produce more, then he's good to go. Sorry for the video shaking camera because it's really tight. I'm operating in a space like a two, two feet. One and a half to two feet, I'm just crawling underneath the system. So at least you guys can able to see all the specs. As a, a Sun Team, T-A-M-S Teams inverter right here I don't know the manufacturer but I think I have to go down again zoom on it and see you can see for yourself yeah sorry for the handshake a freehand uh, video I'm doing so this is the specs. There you go. It has a big heat sink on the back. A big heat sink right there. You can see it. Oh boy. It's tight. There's a huge heat sink at the top. All the way down. This is JW Solo USA, and uh, this is one of the most difficult uh, system to video. It's too tight, and I hope you guys are able to get some of the information you guys needed to know about this system. Six modules, 290 watt. 
solar lightweight panels polycrystalline okay thank you if you like thumbs up subscribe comment i can answer a lot of questions because i don't own this system and he's not here currently but he wanted me to do it so sorry for the wind high winds right now it's really really cloudy overcast and maybe you guys can just see what the numbers were i can't even see them because i just want to make sure that uh, see the numbers all right okay anyway thank you and god bless please subscribe if you like bye bye oh one more thing again before i leave this is this electric meter right here and if you can see the weather is really against me the light So he had um, 60,736 kilowatt he already uh, used from the grid. I don't think right now he's, uh, he's producing enough energy power to invert. But anyway, I'm not seeing the arrows going backwards. But at least I have the opportunity to show you guys right here well thank you and god bless